Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is the second episode of my Chinese characters series, which is a spin-off of my classical Chinese grammar series. In this episode, I will learn the second radical in the ancient dictionary, explaining graphs and analyzing characters, as well as the four characters that are derived from it. This is the first character I'm learning today. It looks like this. It is the sixth character in the dictionary, as well as the second radical in it. It is pronounced "diang" in Old Chinese and "xiang" in Middle Chinese. Okay.、Um, this is a simple indicative character,、um, also known as a simple ideogram. That is, it indicates an abstract concept in a self-explanatory way. And、um, here, the longer horizontal bar provides a reference position, and the shorter horizontal bar here is the indicator. Um, which indicates a higher position above the longer bar. The directly regularized form of the character is here, but the more popular form that is actually being used today is here. This horizontal bar here was later changed to a vertical stroke, so the character changed from this shape to this shape. And this second form, in turn, was modified by another horizontal stroke for indicative purposes. So it became this form eventually,、uh, which is also the form that is being used today. Our commentator Duan comments that there are very few characters of the simple ideogram type, which is why the author of the dictionary Xu Shen had explicitly pointed this out. This is the second character I'm learning today. So here is the character. It basically means emperor, but the more authentic historical meaning was the ruler of the whole world. That is a universal emperor. In Old Chinese, it was pronounced tix, whereas in the Middle Chinese, it was pronounced tie. This is a phonosemantic character with above of this character being its semantic component, which I have highlighted by the orange color here as usual. And its phonetic component is this character here. We don't have to know its meaning at this point, but just need to know that its pronunciation is shakes,、um, which sounds similar enough to tigs. So that's the phonetic component of the character.、Um, these two components together suggest that the concept encoded in the character has something to do with some higher position, and that its pronunciation is similar to、um, shakes. So that's the character for emperor. This is the eighth character in the dictionary, as well as the third character I'm learning today. It looks like this, and its basic meaning is vast. The Old Chinese pronunciation of this character is bang here, and its Middle Chinese pronunciation it's something like buang here. This is another phonosemantic character. Its phonetic component is this one here. Uh, which is pronounced bang, and the character has two semantic components. One of which is the radical above, and the other is a mysterious ingredient here, which is apparently unknown to the dictionary compiler. So here I have put the more obvious semantic component, aka the radical, in orange, and I have let the remaining ingredients of the character stay in black. But the actual phonetic component is just this part. This is the phonetic component. The original meaning of this character is vast or broad, but its more popular meaning is side or aside,、um, which, according to Duan, is a late development. This is the last character I'm learning today, which looks like this. It's pronounced "ga" in Old Chinese and "ga" in Middle Chinese. This is simply an upside-down version of the character for above. And it indicates a lower position, that is, a position below something else.、Okay. Um, the shorter horizontal bar here later got changed to a vertical stroke, so the character changed from this form to this form, and eventually yet another indicative stroke got added to this already modified form, and that gives us the currently popular form of the character here. So here's a quick review of the four characters I have learned today.、Um, let's begin with the radical itself. Okay, so here's the radical,、um, which means above, 
and is pronounced Diang. The seventh character here is pronounced Dix and encodes the concept of a universal emperor. This is a phonosemantic character. Its semantic component is the radical above, and its phonetic component is the character here, which is pronounced Shigs. This is the eighth character in the dictionary, which means vast or broad, and is pronounced Bung. This is also a phonosemantic character. Its primary semantic component is the radical above, and its phonetic component is this part, which is pronounced Bung. This remaining ingredient of the character. Um, in between is apparently unknown to the compiler of the dictionary, so we can probably just ignore it. Finally, this is the ninth character in the dictionary, which is an upside-down version of the sixth character. Okay, and recall that the sixth character means above. So if we turn above upside down, we get below. This character means below and is pronounced gra. So these are all the characters of the day. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.